of seeing the fourth gluon plasma. We must be high enough in energy. Um, and we started to see, we started to learn more about its properties. At the Large Hadron Collider, um, we have more tools we can use to study um, the properties because if you go higher in energy, you get more of these these things like jets where you get where where you get them traveling through the medium and you can see how they're modified and determine the, the properties that way. We get more of some of them at um, the Large Hadron Collider just because it's higher energy. So we can do a lot of measurements at the LHC we can't do at RIC. Um, this, this result I highlighted with jet quenching, we had seen hints of it at RIC, but we, it, we try to find these jets in this mess of all these particles, and it was hard to tell if we understood what we were seeing. When we saw it at the LHC, the jets were so much higher in energy, it was unambiguous. And we went, oh, okay, we really do understand what we were seeing.
the program to start. That's when I heard the link she had up there. Okay. There, there are. They're also hard to get into. So if you don't get into, don't be discouraged. If you don't get into it, don't be discouraged. Um, and just go for it anyway. There's an element of being qualified that just, I, I was in my last year, I'd done a lot of undergraduate research, I'd spent time in the Netherlands, I had, I, I was minoring in another language. It was clear this wasn't just, gee, I want to go to Switzerland. There's also a fair amount of luck. And um, they're trying to pick out people who, I, when I talked to, we had exit interviews and they told us, they actually told us that they had a hard time finding men who were as qualified as the women who applied. And um, they also said, though, that the women were less likely to stick with the field. Um, but they're trying to pick out um, some very basic information, whether or not you do well. And there's an element. Do you ever feel like, I know for, at least with Atlas, we've seen that, like, they're huge collaborations. I know you're with Vicka Thousand, but do you ever feel like it's too much? Like, there's, like, that you're just a number, and you don't, like you said that you know all these, or you don't even know all your collaborators, but you know you guys are doing something. Do you ever feel like it's too much? Um, I don't, uh -huh. because... You're not ever trying to work with all 1,000 people at once. Mm -hmm. So it's a large experiment, but you do focus within the experiment. And when you get involved in them, you realize there's just a lot of work to get done. Yeah. Um, I know most of the faculty and most of the postdocs, and usually the people I don't know are the graduate students who there's a turnover rate, and so I think half the collaboration is graduate students, and they're around the territory of the time, so I don't know if you do that. But it's not like you go sit in a room with a thousand people. You kind of have to, you do have to stand up and say, here I am, and, and you have to not be shy, and you have to be comfortable talking. I think we're going to move on because we've started 10 minutes late. Christine will be here during lunch. You can ask her more questions.